Coronavirus warning going up from a local school district tonight. All students and parents who attended the Dickinson High School graduation are being alerted after an employee who was at that ceremony tested positive for COVID-19. Channel 2's Joel Eisenbaum live tonight with the health alert now from Dickinson ISD. Joel? Dominique, of course, I'm neither a doctor nor a statistician, but I would think you get 2,000 people together in the same place. You definitely up your chances of at least somebody having COVID-19, and it looks like that's what happened here. And welcome to Dickinson's High School Class of 2020 Commencement Ceremony. Dickinson High School did something last week a lot of other high schools did not do this year. An actual in-person graduation ceremony. But it appears someone who was at this event, a school district employee, has now tested positive for COVID-19. It is possible that that employee could have come in contact with guests and graduates at our Dickinson High School graduation ceremony last week on Thursday, June 4th. About 700 high school seniors graduated. Each of them were allowed two guests. So about 2,000 people were inside the Dickinson High School Stadium for graduation. That's a lot of people who now need to know. Do you notify them? That has already taken place um, yesterday morning. As soon as we found out about the employee that tested positive, uh, we put together a message that was sent out to all of our Dickinson High School employees as well as students and parents. The school district will not disclose the COVID-19 employee's job title, but we do know Dickinson ISD has now closed the high school until June 22nd for disinfecting. <laughs> It's fairly plain to see in the video most, but not every attendee was wearing a face covering. And the district did take several other measures. We strongly encourage guests and graduates to wear face masks. We had hand sanitizer and we had custodians there cleaning the restrooms very regularly. Tonight, we do not know that employee's condition. I can tell you, we talked to the Galveston County Health District. They tell us they do not comment on individual COVID-19 cases. Let's hope it stays individual. We're live in Dickinson tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.